Mr. Lunt, the part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. He said to her, I'd like a cheeseburger, and I might like a milkshake as well. She said to him, I can't give you either. And he said, isn't this burger bell? She said, yes it is, but we're closed now. But we open tomorrow at 10. He said, I am extremely hungry. But I guess I can't wait until then. Cause your his cheeseburger, his yummy cheeseburger. and sings the blues. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna lay down some blues. All sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. I said, all sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. Mm-mm. My dad bought me ice cream. Oh, happy, 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 happy day. I ate up that ice cream, got some on my face. That's right, right on my face. I said, I ate up that ice cream, got some on my face. Got some on the table. Happy, 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 place. Hey, man, what you doing? I'm singing the blues. Oh, man, the blues is for singing when you feel sad. But I don't feel sad. Man, you got no business singing the blues. Here, let me help you out. Take this. Cool, ice cream. Thanks. Now give me back that ice cream. You took my ice cream. 
You took it from me. You took my ice cream. You took it away from me. Oh, yeah. Now you're getting it. Now listen up. But I'm still not sad. I'll just have a cookie. No, 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 man. You almost had it. Come on, like this. You took away my ice cream. You took it away from me. My sweet, creamy ice cream. I don't care about no cookie. Now try it again. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. That's right. Mm -hmm. Feel it. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. Oh, sweet, man. Sweet. But that don't bother me none. Me my freshly baked strudel. What? Strudel? Man, you can't say strudel in the blues. That don't even rhyme. Well, what about poodle? Because I got a poodle. Ha! Oh, no, don't tell me you're going to eat that poodle. No, I'm just going to pet him. Petting poodles makes me happy. Sorry, man. You way too happy to sing the blues. Hello? Would you like to poker? Sure! Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. But I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy. Just here with my poodle. That's right! Oh yeah, I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy. Just me and my poodle. This has been the Blues with Let. Tune in next time to... Oh, never mind. Larry's not likely to be singing the blues again anytime soon. Joining Larry are Pa Grape and Mr. Lunt, who together make up the infamous gang of scallywags, the pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. And then I've never been to Denver And I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul And I've never been to Moscow And I've never been to Tampa And I've never been to Boston in the pool But we're the pirates who don't do anything We just stay home and lie around And if you ask us to do anything We'll just tell you We don't do anything Never hoist the mainstay, and I never swab the poop deck, and I never bear the starboard, cause I never sail at all. And I've never walked the gangplank, and I've never owned that ferret, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you we don't do anything. And I'm not too good at ping pong And I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall And I've never kicked a chipmunk And I've never gotten head lice And I've never been to Boston in the fall Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right! We're supposed to sing about piratey things! And who's ever kissed that chipmunk? That's just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the cabin. I do. Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Bye! Yikes! 
lick the spark plug and I've never sniffed a stink bug and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball and I've never bathed in yogurt and I don't look good in leggings. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. Who's got the remote control? Here it is. Time for Eraldo. It's definitely time for Wapna. Oh, I don't like this show. Hey, look. I found a quarter. There lived a man so long ago, his memories but faint was not admired, did not inspire like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure. They knew for sure wouldn't come from other vets. Whoa! He's gone a little loopy, in case you haven't hoid. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. Mm. No skeptic could explain just how, nor could one off three but the wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking! Jump in your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When the nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said, no way, Jose. To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Named one after you. He's good. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. While some just scratch their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps And now it's
it's time for obscure Broadway show tunes with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings an obscure Broadway show tune. Without further ado, from the unknown musical Office Supplies, the heart-rending love song, Where Have All the Staplers Gone? We don't have much time before the big meeting. No. No, we don't. Have you seen the scissors, miss? They're in the bottom drawer. I tried that drawer, but they're there no more. That's odd. I know I thought for sure. Have you seen the masking tape? It's right next to the phone. That's what I thought, but now it's not. Hmm. I guess I should have known. Oh, oh, where, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. They're gone again. The I'll stick it pads have lost their Do you remember when the rubber bands were in their place? They're in the middle drawer. Light bulbs easy to replace. Yes, there were always more. Reads of paper raining down. Legal pads are plenty. Revenge of the Staplers. In the trappings of holiday bliss. Wrapped in bright wrappings gone badly amiss. In paper and tape. In a cucumber shape. Oops, I wrap myself up for Christmas. Oops, I wrap myself up for Christmas. I didn't mean to do it. Was stuck before I knew it. Oops, I wrap myself up for Christmas. I take the super sticky. And all went down so quickly. So now when I was packing, I got caught up in the wrapping in the ribbons and bows. The only gift with the nose. Oops, I wrap myself up for Christmas. Can you help me wrap Junior's present? Here I am. Where? Right here. I don't see you. I wouldn't expect you to. Huh? Why? Why? Ah! Oh because I... Oh, Larry? I wrapped myself up for Christmas. You wrapped yourself up? Yep. However did you do it? I don't know. Is it tricky to see through it? Yeah. Oh, oh why? Oh, did you wrap yourself up for Christmas? Didn't do it on purpose. Completely accidental. Oh, accidental? You do look ornamental. Aw, oh, thank you. Somehow when I were packing, I got caught up in the wrapping. All the ribbons and bows, the only gift with the nose. Oops, I wrap myself up for 
Get yourself up for Christmas. <laughs> oh, Larry, leave it to you. You're the only one I know who could go and wrap himself up. Really? Ah! Wrap his clothes up for Christmas. Sorry. Oh, oh. Wrapping up his school bus. Oh. The cucumber confused us. I can't see. And hey. Wrap his clothes up for Christmas. Just trying to help, guys. Our right, these girls. Hello! We can't see where we're going. Somehow when we were packing, we got caught up in the wrapping to Christmas EP. Zurifies are it please, Larry. Wrap that boat up for Christmas. Bob! Larry! Oh, oh no! I gotta get this wrap! Junior's coming! I'll help! No! no don't I'm let him! I've got something for you! Hello? Oh, oh we! He wrapped me up. Larry, wrap it all up for Christmas. Hold on, guys. Trapped in the trap being the holiday bliss. Wrapped in bright wrap beans, so badly a mess. We need the paper and tape the and vegetable shape. It's so much fun to unwrap you from this. Here you go. You unwrap it all for Christmas. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Junior say... Has anyone seen Pog Great? Larry... <laughs> I'll be all up for Christmas. Larry! Sorry! <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Larry. Normally, this would be the time when the narrator comes on and says, And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. But I've been thinking and talking with the guys. And we've decided it's time to broaden our scope. Artistically. Yeah, we're artists! Word up! There's a time to be silly, and there's a time to be serious. A time to open up your heart and show how you feel, artistically. Cause we all have something to share. There's a secret I've been hiding, I can't keep it no more There's this thing about himself he's never told you before Baby, he needs to tell you something I don't got a belly button Oh, I need to tell you something Have you figured out he don't got a belly button? Belly button, no Just tell me how you feel Cause his love is for real And if you went away My heart would never heal So to you he appeals There's something missing in my middle And it's hard to ignore There's this thing about himself He's never told you before Baby
Shall I at least get a lollipop? And now it's time for bedtime songs with Junior, the part of the show when Junior gets tucked into his warm, comfy bed and is sung a bedtime song. to hear Junior say... Can I have a drink of water? One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Larry confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. Alrighty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad, you might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lip moved to the loose, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad, you'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad, that'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Cause I love my lips! Believe that bop dee ba boo ee da ba boo ba da boo bow yabba da ba ba dee ba bow boo bum dee ba 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 dow yabba da ba da ba blue 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 Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Larry, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Larry, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turn blue, what could you do? Oh, they turn blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird? She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed. And I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen and when he did start speaking he just spoke Polish and I only knew like three words in Polish except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta! 
Your friends all laughed. Usta, how do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird. My friends all laughed. Usta! I'm confused. I love my lips. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Oh, look at the time! Bye, ba boo ba bee ba bee ba